Hal Zuberkopf is Vekoma's first ever suspended thrill coaster, or STC. Many of you are probably familiar with their SLC, suspended looping coaster, which is a model that's been cloned all over the world and is notorious for being a very uncomfortable, unpleasant ride experience. Not that the layout is bad, but it's very rough. Oftentimes the restraints will knock your head around, but that is old Vekoma. The company is under completely different leadership nowadays, and they've debuted a model that's meant to be the spiritual successor to the SLC. Tripstrail in Germany was the first park to receive this ride, and as of right now is the only park to currently have one. However, we know that's going to eventually change, but as of when this video is being made, this is currently the only place you can experience one. It opened in summer 2020, and has a pretty unique layout. What Vekoma has done here is combined this ride with a family boomerang, and really wove them together. There are multiple points when the rides share support columns, the rides pass over and under each other, and it makes for this really visually impressive area that the rides are located in. It's part of this brand new expansion to Tripstrill, an area of the park that didn't even exist before, and it was an awesome addition to the park. So now you know a little bit about the background of the attraction, let's talk about some of these specific elements. We have a height of almost 100 feet, about 50 miles per hour, and a total of three inversions. That has two different zero-g rolls and an inline twist. We also have what is called a junior Immelman. This is technically more of a bank turn. It doesn't actually go upside down, but from certain angles, it kind of does look like it. None of these elements directly resemble anything from the original Vekoma SLCs. They really had all new ideas that they brought to the table with this thing, including little airtime bunny hops. Moments when the track goes upwards into an airtime hill that tries to send you up out of your seat even though you're hanging below the track, which is something we don't usually see before. They did the same thing on Fly at Fantasia Land. However, I did think Fly did it a little bit better. From the multiple rides I got on Hal Zuberkopf, it felt like the forces weren't quite enough to actually send you up out of your seat where Fly actually does. But because this is a prototype, I imagine that they'll get better at that as they debut more of these attractions. But everything about this ride is very flowy and graceful. Because I imagine one of the first things that people are going to ask with this attraction is, well, how does it compare to, like, a B&M invert? And the answer is, it doesn't. It doesn't feel anywhere remotely close to how those rides feel. The way I describe how this ride feels is a more extreme version of their SFC, or Suspended Family Coaster. These are rides like Dragonfly or at Dollywood or Orcana at Far Up Summerland. Think of how tame but fun that experience is, and just level it up a bit. So this isn't an overly forceful attraction. There's a moment when I grayed out a little bit, it was on that Junior Immelman, that turnaround. But for the most part though, this is not a positive G heavy attraction. B&M inverts are, which is why I wouldn't really draw that comparison. Those coasters are intense, they pull some forces. This is much more family friendly, in my opinion. Those inversions are not gonna whip you like B&Ms will. So just have your expectations right going into this attraction. If you're thinking this is gonna be like rip your face off intense like some of those other rides, you're gonna walk away disappointed. Tripstrill is a family park. This ride does work really well there. And I do think that rides like this would be good at other parks, but I am also interested in seeing how this ride will evolve in the future. Can Vekoma make them more intense experiences? I mean, even Vekoma SLCs are more intense than this. Again, not a bad thing. This is just the type of ride that they are going for with this model. It's family friendly, but not in like a little kid way. I mean, literally anyone could probably enjoy this. This would be a great coaster to introduce kids into going upside down with because the inversions don't even really feel like traditional inversions. They're just so natural. So you can tell this is, first of all, a very well-designed experience. They just did a really nice job at weaving everything together. There's so many moments when you're just right up low to the ground, passing through trenches, over the other ride. It's really quite neat. Now, there were a couple downsides that I thought of when I was actually there. The first one, and I imagine it's probably not like this all the time, but they were only running this on one train when I was there, which did not help with capacity. This thing had quite a bit of a line. Luckily though, there was a saving grace. There is a single rider line. Because I want to get multiple rides on this, I took advantage of that at one point, and that actually put me in row two. The front row line was the longest, which is a shame because the front row is by far the best. I think it takes each of the elements better, and you can really appreciate those near misses when you're right up front. The back row, to be honest, was a bit shaky. There was definitely a rattle back there. And I also had a harder time enjoying some of those specific elements. Like it's still cool and it's, it's still good, 
but I genuinely believe the front row is where this ride shines. I can also appreciate the stylization and theming that they went with for the trains, the station, and the area around it. Everything is really nice looking. Hal's Überkopf is German for headlong, or the Überkopf part can also be translated to upside down. Overall, it has a very medieval village sort of feel. The sides of each of the cars have shields, there's spears right up front. There's some cool rooms and props that you'll see as you're walking through the queue. And even when you hit the brake run, they have an animatronic rabbit. He's eating a carrot and he's talking to you in German. I do not speak German, so I had no idea what he was saying. It definitely confused me a bit because I thought it was a medieval theme. And so I'm like, why is there now a rabbit talking to us? Trip Drill has always been a very quirky park and this ride is very on brand for them. So for Hal Zuberkopf's final score, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. It's a very well-designed attraction. For what it is, it's really fun. I think it's definitely gonna be a hit with families. For my personal preference though, it's not a coaster that I'm gonna to gravitate towards all the time. I'm definitely more of a B&M invert guy, but that's because I love those really intense experiences. This to me feels like an upgraded family attraction, which is a little strange because family rides don't typically include inversions. So this kind of straddles the line of being, is it a thrill coaster or is it a family coaster? It's probably somewhere in the middle. I think the thing that really would have made it better for me is if it had a bit more positive g-forces and I think if some of those moments where it's trying to give you airtime actually really succeeded. Bacoma was able to pull that off with Fly and I hope that in the future they're able to really figure that out with the next STC to debut and I really hope that we see some more of these in the future. I think it's a really cool attraction. I really applaud Vacoma for doing this, redeeming themselves after doing so many SLCs that everyone hates. The future of that company is just so bright. Not every attraction is going to be perfect. This is the prototype. I'm confident that their next ones will be better. But so far, they're definitely on the right track. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of Heil's Überkopf at Tripstrill in Germany. Do you agree with the points I've said? Is there anything you disagree with? Let me know all that down below. And of course, stay tuned for more coaster reviews here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.